well. Yeah, and Suntine just gets eaten by two lands. Right. So there's no... And I only kill one. Yeah. So what'll happen is, goes to seven, goes to alt. Like, we'll both get to alt range. My opponent will alt first. Then I'll alt back and be able to kill any Eldrazi spawn in the way mm -hmm. and get to attack. However, my opponent will have at that point something like 12 forests in play. I still might be okay. Um... Troll Ascetic. Okay. Aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Whatever you would like to... However mm -hmm. that word is properly pronounced. I like the little mm -hmm. troll's head there. You can see his face. Mm -hmm. Untap up to four forests! Cut chunk! <laughs> <sighs> Alright. It's down to the wire. This is where it gets interesting, folks. <laughs> Boom shot locker. Yes! Okay. So, Inferno Titan completely changes the math on this. I get to do 1-1 one, one and prevent... Like, 1-1-1. One, 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 preventing Nisa's ult as well as knocking out Eldrazi spawn. Yeah, so now we get to see what he actually throws in the way of Crater Garkadon. Probably troll aesthetic and regenerate mana. Yeah, that'd be obvious. We need but... trample. But it kills something. <laughs> Titan time! Um, I think we pop Koth immediately. Yes, I would like to redirect damage. I continue to attack my opponent because I am representing a lethal threat. There's no point mm -hmm. in, uh, again, as long as my attack is a lethal threat, like, there's no point in putzing around trying to kill Nyssa. So, the block is going to be that troll. Koth Emblem lets all of my mountains tap for one damage. Yep. Uh, what this will do is it'll allow me to control the Awakening Zone, getting rid of the token, as well as keep Nyssa from, uh, you know going off. I, I'm only going to gain 13 here because I'm not going to get the second strike. Yep. But now my life total is much more controlled. My opponent's still looking for some sort of buster. Which is interesting because they've had so many turns to do something, right? Well, they're draw you've seen their draws, kind of forests, lands, yeah. troll, like, they've been drawing cards, but when you're playing a ramp deck, this is kind of the, uh, you know, back end of it. Yeah. We've seen, like, half the ramp deck. We've seen all the ramp pieces, but not the goal. Mm-hmm. Well, I would say this is the goal. This is definitely part of the goal. I'm, yeah, Mirror Battlesphere is the goal. Just, what's weird is that it's simply not good enough. I'm stunned by this. The mirror ball stopped in its tracks. The Katamiri held. If I draw Elspeth, the greater gar the greatest Gargadon surpasses even Emmercruel and becomes the the king Gargadon. You get like a little crown on the tag. <laughs> um, yeah.
Uh, no, I don't like anything that would sack this Titan. The broken part of this deck is Splinter Twin Zealous Conscripts. Uh, that's the only really busted thing I have. I have a couple of these moxes that give it a bit of speed, but quite honestly, what you see right here is the deck. Um, I do have a, I have the infinite though. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm wondering what our next draw is probably going to be. <laughs> Land ne probably, but Neo Greater Gargadon. Punts. Deep in the tank. Splinter Twin on Inferno Titan would basically be enough. I would do that. Like, drawing get, Splinter Twin, I would not... Yeah. You get ETB and then the attack? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't, like, a hyper... Yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like, this isn't, like, you know, a busted cube deck. Merely a solid one. Uh, we do have three planes left to draw. One is in the yard, mm -hmm. so we have a higher percentage of drawing mountain, which is the live Jeez. land. Also, I guess Sacred Foundry is a mountain plane, so it can tap to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I'm going to have to do, uh, people are correct, Crater Hoof is in the cube. Um, I'm going to need to better deal with my opponent's creatures just to prevent that from being the game or something like that. What do we got here? White, finally. Okay. You got it. Uh, with the troll, I can't really swing for the fences. Um... So let's make our emblem. We got to do our first necessary play, which is a redirect at Nissa. Mm -hmm. Then we have to do our second necessary play, killing off an Eldrazi spot. Now the question is, I could play the Siege Gang or just start picking off Mir and Arbor Elf and trying to better control his board. Hmm. I think playing Siege Gang Commander is good. Hmm. Uh. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on it. I really do want to start killing off his board so that we don't have like, Right, but his ability costs mana, and you need that mana to also ping Nisa and uh that. So if you get it down now, it makes the, it better next turn, basically. The thing is like with this emblem, am I using it? Like at all? I don't know. Like it's two damage as opposed to one. But it costs two mana as opposed to one. I'm, I, I, I don't like it. The big like with the emblem, like using a card to deal damage versus using not a card to deal damage, is effectively that what the trade off is there. Yeah. CJ costs five. Do you want to ping that Eldrazi on his turn? Absolutely. Okay. Err. Like, see, Jane is just too man intensive and it doesn't really do anything here. Um, yeah. I guess you could also ping Nisa on his turn. Yep. I'm, well, I plan on, like, doing board kind of cleanup is uh, what I'm starting on. Pinging yeah. Nisa is definitely part of that because that's part of the cleanup. Emblem of mountains. <laughs> yep. Mountains. The big thing about cleanup is, God, I need to deal with this, like, line of junk in the way. Like, I can barely see anything anymore. Huh. I 
Johnny Function. Does that change the math at all? Um, I don't think so. He has enough regenerations of troll aesthetic that doesn't seem that relevant. Yeah. Swing with Inferno Titan might not be bad. Again, cleanup is... The thing with cleanup here is that, like, Crater Hoof Behemoth kills me from, like, about 70. Yeah. <laughs> That's my major problem right now. I'm trying to... Th like, so Inferno Titan gets blocked by, what, two lands? Two lands, and then I... Well, I could... If it gets blocked by two lands, I could just burn, it da burn the lands down. One of the lands down, at least. Yeah, you get to burn one land down. Troll is untargetable. I can't tap it. I can't tap it, nor keep it tapped. Yeah, it cannot be ta targeted by spells, or... Yeah, Crater Hoof kills me from, like, a thousand. How about that? Like, that's mm. How am I winning this game? Better question. I'm willing to split some clock just to... Splinter Twin Inferno Titan? That's not bad. I, like, Elspeth's the card I really would like to draw. Yeah. Um, what is my opponent's life total? It's like Swing... Sun Titan and Inferno Titan eat two lands. Between a Johnny... Inferno Titan and uh, your emblem, you basically eat four lands. Or you could swing with Inferno Titan, kill off three mirror. And then, like, save it by killing it with the mountains. I'm killing off Nissa. I think that's the first stage of this. Mm. Once Nissa's dead, all my pings can start going to the head. Yeah. Yes, depending on his blocks, I can do the necessary. Do the needful. Do what needs to be done. I'm fine with chump block there. That's very nice for me. Yeah. Um, so... Yep. And then I'm going to play a Johnny. I'm just going to bolt Nissa. Yeah, I think Chumplock was a big mistake on his play. Alright. And then the last one's going to be for the Awakening Zone token. Yo! Okay. Okay. Never mind. Wait, what? My opponent didn't reach out. Oh! Hey! He's getting nervous. Okay. I didn't even notice that. No, neither did I. I it was just such an assumption. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Search for tomorrow, though. I mean, that's that's lands. Oh, it is basic land. Okay. Yep. I read search for search for library. I'm like, oh.
<laughs> Tooth the Squirrel doing doing the zoo's work and calculating how much damage Crater Hoof Boom Behemoth does. does. Yeah. Um, 121. Luck luckily, again, he's made a, a change. <laughs> Uh, Rabbit Sloth salutes. So, one of the last things that I have here, and it's pretty powerful, is I can now keep his Gaia's Cradle tapped. Yep. With with the Gaia's Cradle tapped, the Crater Hoof Behemoth no longer can come down without him tapping out all his creatures, which means mm -hmm. he can't kill me from about a hundred. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's here. Are we okay with that trade? That's not a trade. I mean. No, I mean, like, literally, that's not a trade. It's not, no. Are we okay with killing all his lands? For free, yes. Okay. Okay, so he thinks this is a trade? Again, this is not a trade. <laughs> uh, so we kill three lands for free, and then we kill the next two creatures, and they And now work. he's realizing that it's not a trade, and it's now it is a trade, but I can use my lands to save my guy, which I will. So, ordering... Forest is the first here. And uh, this looks good here. I need to kill those and then, you know. Uh huh. I would like to undo that action because that was not the button I wanted to press. Here's the greatest trick of all. The greatest Gargadon isn't even like that's not you know what's going to win the game. It's it's the batter skull gaining reloads back. So here's click one. Crunch. Now he only hits back for eight. Click two. Crunch. Inferno Titan dies. You but know what? Whatever. That's completely fine. My opponent's now back to, like, five mana. <sighs> yep. That's... <laughs> oh, mean... no, it's Tarmacoop. <laughs> <laughs> Tarmacoop is huge! <laughs> Yeah, so. Titan. You've done good work. Yeah. Tarmac Life actually didn't get bigger from the Titan or the land death because I had a planes in there for a while. It was the yeah. search for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's more than one Gargadon. There is. Well, this is the greater Gargadon. Yeah. There's some other Gargadon. So, no, I don't really know, but I have an assumption. I'm not sure attacking with the double striker is a good idea, but I'll take it. I am. I am. I think it is. Yeah, you can ping it down and yes. kill it on the first. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Godspeed. That's. By the way, though, I don't. My chat doesn't actually work in this, in this hellscape I live in. 
I'm reading Slyos. Yeah, there, 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 there is indeed the lesser Gargadon. It is lesser. Congratulations. So, greater Gargadon or greatest Gargadon? Uh, it's the greatest Gargadon. Or like God Gadon. Yeah, it didn't get. We didn't get King Gargadon. We no, get, we didn't get the the jumping King Gargadon. <laughs> I kind of wanted it, like really badly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the pressure claims another victim. Mm. Yeah, it, the lesser Gargadon is big. Is, is it? Is no. See, it, this isn't like clubs. Uh, like it's lesser Gargadon is not great, and greater Gargadon is not large or whatever. <laughs> there's I don't no think that larger... made any sense, but okay. I know what I was going for, but there's not a larger Gargadon, so it doesn't work. No one knows what I was going for. It just doesn't work. Mini Gargadon, regular Gargadon, and greater Gargadon. Weapon triangle of Gargadons. Ah, Axe Gargadon, Spear Gargadon, and, Lan and Sword Gargadon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brave Sword, I'm glad that you finally found the greater Gargadon. So, we are fighting High Am Death for me. Oh. I don't think I fear this person very much. But, uh, maybe we should. They made it to the top. Mm -hmm. They went 2 0. Stretch a bit. There we go. We're good to go. We've timer scammed nearly two opponents. These yeah. have been long games. I'm glad that we didn't actually, like, timer scam. Yeah. <sighs> Uh. Hi, I am Death Fia Ermi. I'm keeping. Yeah. This is wonky. Okay. I'm on the draw. Oh. Oh my god. Sorry about that. This is the second red player we've seen. Goblin Welder! Oh. Ugh. Our opponent may, in fact, be a different type of red player. Hmm. I'm keeping this uh, being on the draw. Ooh. Oh. I, I see what type of opponent we're playing. I'm a little scared. I have to do that before he can fire it back at me. Uh, I've got the Dard Eddie. <coughs> this might be where it we get run over. It could be Burning Tree Emissary. The three oh, is two two. Right. White would be good here. No more. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah, this is this is our us finally uh, getting owned by that keep. It's fine. Yeah, our opponent is the who you oh. think. Oh. <laughs> Big red. Nobody likes it. All right, let's. All right, let's pay four life to kill this idiot. I'm sure that won't go badly, right? You say this, and yet. Yeah. I mean, my problem is I'm dead in like two turns from Shrine yep. of Burning Rage. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sulfuric Vortex is an incredibly strong card for incredibly cool players, like my opponent. Oh. <laughs> Sweet, guess who can't cast Flame Tongue Kavu? Do you want to cast Koth? Mm, no. At this point, I don't actually want to do anything. 
Oh, okay. I'm not winning the game. My only out would have been uh, the ability to counsel's judgment the shrine. I can't gain life, and I'm on a clock. At this point, I'm not showing my opponent cards. See, I'm dead here at my upkeep. So. Uh, yeah. Go. All right, I'm murdered. Hell yeah. I'm bringing you this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So disenchant in silver blade out. I don't know. Silver blade might be a win con. Maybe. What is crappy here? My thought there is that Silverblade's a 2-2, two -two, and it's likely to get bolted a lot more than, like, our top end. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if that's right. Maybe it's the Splinter Twin, but I can't do that. Maybe it's Dismember. Yeah, he doesn't seem... Maybe, I can't, enough... maybe I can't afford 4 life. Yeah. Conscripts can steal a thing. Maybe it can steal his Shrine of Burning Rage and then... Ping him with it. Uh, Ryan, uh, both Zealous Conscripts and Splinter Twin are probably bad here. Conscripts better than Twin, obviously. But I've kept them in the deck this long. We're keeping them in here. The only real changes I could make would be, like, more top-end or, like, Gorehouse Chainwalker, which just... I mean, I could try putting Gorehouse Chainwalker and try to, like, race my opponent. Like, he goes for that. Eight mana play, steal the end. Look, we we have to kill that with disenchant when he's low. Anyway, let's let's roll. This is fine. Yeah. I mean, we're in the finals anyway. I'm not uh, feeling too bad about it. Uh... I'm willing to keep this on the back of live spells. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the curve on this thing has been quite high, and that's, like, absolutely known. It's, that's a vampire, so that gets big, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So, I I'm think good. we ping it right now. Well, I'm going to suspend Rift Bolt and then kill it with that. I, oh, will okay. I will take one for it and then have Chain Lightning as backup. Yes, this hand is very dependent on actually drawing uh, you know, something real. White would be good to start. I'm willing to take one damage to trade Rift Bolt instead of Chain Lightning here. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm Tribal Suspend, so, you know, that's cool. Alright, you can get the hell out of here. <laughs> We're still Mono Red! <laughs> Deal with it! Mm -hmm. Incinerate to my dome. Magma Jet to my dome. <laughs> Scrying for land? Might be. Pulling up chat. Not that chat. Why did... That's weird. Top, top. It begins! Oh god, no. Useless. Thanks for the advice. Drawing the planes instead of the mountain would have been a little better. Like, yeah. That's that's good. That's a good plan. I like it. Drawing a land. Uh, can that become 4-4 four, four on this turn? No. Do you want to burn it? 
sort of. I'm, I'll take three damage for burning it, which is kind of the worst part. He can like re he can reflect like to chain lightning at me. Uh, do you That's... want to disenchant the vortex and then burn it? Um, I actually think I want to play Spirit of the Labyrinth. Or, oh, second. Um, I'm thinking here. I'll go to eight. This is, this is funky, you know, um... I've never been in the situation where this has happened. Okay. <laughs> that is the world we live in. That was bolt! just regular bolt. Okay. Yep. I feel good about not playing spirit then. Well, I don't want to take a bolt to the dome. I know, but it didn't kill our giant thing. Well, I left total cool five. A mox. Um. You get to choose one. So here's my game plan. I hope you like it. All right, I can accept this. Main phase, disenchanting the vortex. I don't have another phase where I could possibly do it. This is it. I only need one permanent to kill you. Lightning strike my dome. Show me the other piece. A chump blocker. Alright. This is it. That's <laughs> eating everything. I'm betting everything! Gargadon, I am so happy about you. Uh, yeah, the God like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy about Greatest Gargadon. Like, just push all in on the table. All in, no antis. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good when your opponent has, like, 2 8 offsuit or whatever. So, yeah, um... Uh, I think we just run it back? I'm gonna do this. This is something Ryan suggested, and after that game I agree we might actually be able to just kind of like race him down with this sort of shenanigans. Hmm. So. It's true, yeah. And maybe we can just Stoneforge Mystic something if we... 
think we need it. Right. So. The final game. The end of the cube right here. I even like this hand. Yeah. Uh, open with Sacred Foundry, I guess. Unless I draw a mountain, yes. Sacred Foundry taking two. Yes. Because Riskful thing. Cheaper. It is less damage to do this overall. Don't fucking raise your dongers. <laughs> raise your gargadong. Raise. Here we go. All right. The lightning mauler. That's a strong play. He's he's coming in hot. You know, that's fine. I, I still mean, think we kill Stormberg. Yeah. It's more damage. It's more problematic. And then we unleash Gorhos. Uh, I think Spirit of the Labyrinth is better. Yeah, okay. It gives me the option of blocking. Having top end with lifelink is good. Yeah. Next turn we have our first striking golem. Yes, next turn we get this and that's a, a good play. I will go ahead and just chump here if necessary. Shrine of Burning Rage, so we're now on the clock, as it were. Very good. So I'm completely willing to attack here. Yep. Alright, Baneslayer is the real key to this game. Yep. It's the top of it. Imperial Recruiter is very good, too. I can go grab Stoneforge for Batterskull. Yep. Burning Tree Emissary. Okay, the free creature. Mm hmm. What does this follow up? He can soul bond it for haste if he likes, which he does. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's the it's the look. It's it's like recruiter for Stoneforge. Smashed to smithereens. Oh, Christ! Ugh. That's strong. Incredibly. Um, uh, Blade Splicer on the Lightning Mauler? 100%. Um, that is an incredibly good play, and it's uh, something I'm going to have to sit here and look at. Um, I think it's got to be, like, Recruiter. I don't think I can race him. Not right now, no. And this is grabbing Stone Forge, so I can grab Batter Skull. It might be too yep. late, but I have to try it. Yep. This is turn four, so we haven't missed a land drop quite yet. But yep. Hero of Oxid Ridge. So I can block with Spirit, but I can't block with Recruiter. Yep. So we eat Hero with Spirit? Yeah. And then take two, go to... Low for my tastes. Yeah. Yep. Alright. So this is my... Like, this has got to be Baneslayer. Yeah. So here's the trick. Seven life. He'll go to six on Shrine. I need the card in his hand to be too expensive uh, to be able to up the Shrine to seven points. If his card in hand is like Bolt or a one drop or even land two drop, we're dead. But if his card in hand is a little more expensive... We're still in it. Is that Fire Blast? Oh! <laughs> okay, then. I mean, if it's Fire Blast, I can lose, too. Nuts. Any zero mana red spell does it as well. 
Very wow. Good. Very good. You still have a pack of barrage. Uh, nope. Oh, no, this is Urza. We're at Urza's block time this week. Huh. Things have changed. So, there we are. Um, that was the cube. We had the red-white deck. Were all three of our opponents... Let's see, we had the... There was red, uh, red something, green-white, and red. Mm-hmm, okay. Well, that was that was interesting. I was that very, was a thing. I was very happy with this. <laughs> it. I'm glad Greater Gargadon managed to do very well. <laughs> I think Gargadon was like, we could have made two plays that saved us five life. What? Uh, well, like a chump block at some point, or I don't know. I, I'm certain there were plays I made incorrectly in there. Anyway, I mean, hindsight I, is twenty twenty. No, that. You can say that, but there were probably plays that were wrong at the time. That's yeah. Well, I mean, if if I I trust Ryan to see them, yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, here we are. So thanks everybody for joining. Thanks Logical for joining. No problem. I'm glad I could finally assist. Yep. And thanks everybody I'm... in the zoo. Hope y'all enjoyed that. And have a good night, everybody. Night, everyone.